farm at my grandma's place. Just want to show a little video real quick of the goodness of God. Right here we have a shotgun slug. Right through this right here. And then if you look, it goes through here. Right? And then it goes up there. I was like 17, I almost got shot in the face. Dude ran up right here. Boom. I gave Buddy the drugs right there. And then his homeboy ran up on the side. Stuck the sawed off pistol grip uh, shotgun right in my eye. So I looked this way. And it was literally right here. I remember looking right down the barrel. And as soon as I seen him, the door was closed like it is now. I grabbed it. And as soon as I grabbed it, I put it like right here. And you can see if you line it up. This thing was out though. So this was up, it was like right here. So literally, the shotgun blew right in my face, right through here, through there, and up there, and you can see the angle. But it's actually like impossible that it missed me. So that day, an angel, I believe an angel of the Lord actually saved my life. Because after the, the whole situation, I felt like something supernatural in the atmosphere. And then I remember getting on my knees because I wasn't afraid to die. And I said, God, I know that you just saved my life. And I know that you have a purpose for my life because I'm supposed to be dead right now. So that's the goodness of God. That while we were yet dead in our transgressions and our sins, Christ died for the ungodly. So I was a young thug selling dope, running the streets, robbing people and fighting, living, living that life, gangster life. And God in his mercy and his grace saved my life and he spared my life. And I just want to testify to the goodness of Jesus that God can save anybody. God can deliver anybody. God can heal anybody, even in his backyard right here. I used to fight in his backyard many, many times. I would brawl right here in his backyard, knocking people out right in his backyard. Literally, it was like, that's just what, I, that's what we did. That's what I did. And the goodness of God, man, that Jesus, only because of Jesus, am I alive today because I was supposed to be dead. And it was supernatural deliverance, which I believe through an angel of the Lord because after words, the situation, I got on my knees, I said, God, I know that I'm here for a reason and I know that you just saved my life and then a couple years later I got saved and then the Holy Spirit began to show me you know even recently God began to show me and basically tell me that he saved my life many times he spared my life many times that the devil tried to kill me many times but God saved me so I just want you to know that Jesus is real and uh, he's a healer he's a deliverer and put your faith in Christ. God is good. Jesus is powerful. And if he can save me and he can heal me and take me from a dope dealing, fighting, criminal, drug addict, demonized, out of my mind, sinner, and save me who didn't have a mother, who didn't have a father, who never really had nothing. But if the love of God could reach out and save me, he can reach out and he can save anybody. So I want you guys to see this again, how good Jesus is. This is real life. No exaggerations. And that was just one situation. There was many situations. But literally right here at my grandmother's place to this day, it's a slug shot. All right? And this thing was up like this. And it went right through there, right through there. But that's how good Jesus is. Because that hole, literally, when I looked, the gun was literally within 12 inches of my eye. And I remember looking right down the barrel. And as soon as I seen him, I grabbed it like this. And I went just like this. And then, and you see what happened there. And during that situation, a lot of other things happened, but I ain't gonna talk about that. But um, basically, immediately I thought that, uh, I thought I was a ghost. It was so loud and it was in my face. I felt the wind on my face, like that, way louder though. Wind on my face and I remember immediately, all I could do is I just looked down because everything like flashed. I thought I was a ghost. I had to, I just looked down for blood and I didn't see blood. So then I knew I wasn't a ghost. That's the, like immediately the first thing I did is just look down because everything froze. I looked down for blood and I didn't see any blood. And then, you know, other things happened, but I'm not going to get into that. But Jesus is good. Come on. Come on. Jesus. I just want to lift up the name of Jesus. I want to lift up the name of Jesus. I was so crazy. But God is so merciful. God is so good. Then I chased the guys off and all kinds of other stuff, but I ain't gonna get into that, but the testimony is the goodness of God. That while we were yet sinners, Christ died for the ungodly. When I was selling drugs, when I was fornicating, when I was running the streets, when I was robbing people's houses and robbing people, when I was fighting, when I was doing the devil's work and I was a soldier for the devil, unknowingly, you know, not understanding spiritual things, not understanding the Bible, not understanding Jesus, 
God and His rich mercy. And the Lord will save you, heal you, and deliver you. And I want you to know, put your faith in Christ. Nothing else is worth living. It doesn't matter what your present situation is, what your present circumstance is, God can save you. I had a, one of my uncles, a friend of the family, he's just like an uncle and he's passed on now. He overdosed, but he said, um, Kev, last time I saw you, he said, I'd given up all hope. I said, there's, 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 no, there's no hope for him. And then he had seen me get saved before he died. But I remember him telling me that, you know, that he was proud of me and everything. But it was Jesus. It wasn't me. But he said, man, the last time I saw you, you were so gone and so out there. I didn't think there was any hope. But Jesus Christ gets all the glory. Hallelujah.